Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and cover a few more questions off of the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let's see what we can learn. So it's number 11. It says Carlo takes out a loan of $600 that charges an annual interest rate of 15%. If he repays the loan in monthly installments over a one-year period, what will his payments be? So in this case, we're looking at $600 and you're doing annual interest rate of 15%. So that means that at the end of the year or for like this one year, it's going to charge an 15% of that loan. Usually that's going to come at the start. So we're going to apply that right off at the beginning. So what is 15% of 600? Well, that means you would do 600 times the decimal form of that percent, which would be 0.15. And when you multiply that through, really, you're just multiplying the six by that, which is going to end up giving you 90. So that means we have an interest rate being added of $90. So the total amount being paid is $690 for the whole year. So it says if he repays the loan in monthly installments over a one year period, what would his payments be? So because this is monthly, that means we're breaking this up into 12 pieces. So we're going to divide this guy by 12. So if we do 690 divided by that 12, that's going to give you a little under $60, so about 57.5. Um, and looking through the options, that is one of our answers. So that means every month he's going to be paying $57.50. So for number 12, it says that Danielle is decorating a package with ribbons. If she cuts a five-foot piece of ribbon into four pieces, how many smaller ribbons are there? Well, first off, let's keep in mind, how many inches are in a foot? Well, there are 12 inches in a foot. So that means if I have five feet, that I'm going to do five times 12 to find my total number of inches there. So if I go ahead and do that 12 times 5, Remember, we have no calculator here, but 5 times 10 is pretty easy. That's just 50. 5 times 2 is another 10. So 50 plus 10 is going to give us a total of 60. So that means what we have total of 60 inches here, and we're cutting them into 4-inch pieces. So I'm going to take that 60 and divide it by those 4 inches to see how many different smaller pieces of ribbon we have. Well, what is 60 divided by 4? Well, if we divide 60 by 2, that's going to give us 30. Divide by another 2 would give us 15. So 60 divided by 4 is going to be equal to 15. And I say that work out loud so you can see like how I'm doing this mentally without a calculator. So in this case, that means that we're going to have 15 ribbons that are 4 inches apiece. So our final answer here is B. So again, number 13 is going to be fairly easy, but part of it comes down to doing this without a calculator. It says admission to a museum costs $15.50 per adult and $8.75 per child. What is the cost for a family of two adults and four children to see the museum? Now, the two adults, I feel like is going to be fairly easy. 15 times 2 is going to give me 30, and if I have 50 cents twice, that's $1. So 30 plus the $1 is going to give me a total of 31 for the two adults. Now we have the four children to deal with, which are $8.75 a pop. Well, since it's $8.75 a pop, that means that it's essentially $9 each, and then we get to subtract $0.25 cents from each kid at the end. And since there's four of them, four times 25 is a dollar. So I'm just going to do nine times four to give me 36 and then subtract that $1 from the 25 cents for each kid. So again, nine times four is going to give me 36 minus one will give me 35. So the total price here will be the adults and the kids together, 31 plus that 35, which is going to end up giving me $66. So the total price to go to the museum for this family is going to be $66 even. So today we're looking at number 14 on the ASVAB, the military entrance exam, and it says here that you have seven quarters. How many more quarters are needed to fill a $10 quarter wrapper? Now, you may think to yourself, like, oh, well, let's just start diving right in. How much money is seven quarters, and how much more money would I need? That's all doing too much work here, all right? Remember, part of this test is all about speed, so you just need to find the quickest way to get to your answer, and I don't think doing all that work is going to be it. Instead, let's just look at our end result here. We need $10 in quarters. Well, how many quarters is that? Well, there's four quarters in a dollar, so if I need $10, I would just do 10 times 4 to give me 40. Then, knowing that I need 40 quarters and I already have 7, I'm just going to subtract those 7 quarters off of that 40. So 40 minus 7 is going to end up giving me 33. So if I'm looking through my answers here, 33 is answer D.
and you're finished. So for number 15 on the ASVAB, it says that a cardboard square measuring 10 inches on each side is to be cut from a box. If two inch squares are cut from each corner and the sides are then folded upward, what is the volume of the resulting box? So when we're looking at this guy right here, essentially what's going to happen is they're going to fold along this dotted line right here to bring this side up. And then same here, they're going to fold and bring this side up and this side and this side. So essentially it's going to be like the bottom side of like a clothing box you would get from Christmas or something. So we're going to find the volume of this box. Volumes of rectangular prisms like that are length times width times height. So those are the three things we need. Let's start off with the length and the width. So if I'm looking here, right now there's 10, but I'm taking away these two and these two. So 10 minus 4 from those is going to give me 6. This is a square, so that's going to be the same on this side as well. So we have a 6 by 6, and now we still need the height. Well, when we fold these, remember this is going to be 2 inches high. So that's going to be the height of this box. It's going to go up 2. So the height is going to be 2. So we have 6 times 6 times 2. Well, 6 times 6 is 36 times 2 is going to give me 72 inches cubed, which means our answer is B. Hey guys, that's all we're going to cover for today, but remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ASVAB.